In this experiment, you'll measure the speed of waves on a stretched string and study the relationship between the wave speed and the applied tension on the string. For our setup, we attach a string to a mechanical vibrator which is powered by a frequency generator. We hang the other end of the string over a pulley with a mass attached to it. When a wave is produced on a string with two fixed ends, the wave reflects back and forth between the two fixed points producing a standing wave. If the wavelength of the wave is a whole number fraction of the length of the string times two, then the nodes in the standing wave pattern will be at the fixed ends of the string, and the least amount of wave energy will be lost in the reflection at these fixed points, producing a very large amplitude wave. This condition is called resonance, and allows us to directly measure the wavelength of a wave at the same time as we observe the frequency we use to create it. The wavelength of a wave multiplied by its frequency gives the speed of propagation, or the wave speed. The wave speed on our string isn't affected by changing the wavelength or frequency, but instead depends on the properties of the medium, in this case the tension and the mass per unit length of the string. We can see this by finding different resonant modes of our string while keeping the length and applied mass constant, and seeing that the wavelength times the frequency gives the same result. To see the relationship between tension and wave speed, we keep the length of vibrating string constant and add increasing amounts of mass to the mass hanger at the end of the string. Then we find resonant modes and use the resulting wavelength and frequency to calculate the wave speed. 